Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In the previous lectures, we showed how we can define the thickness and how we can define the band radius. The next parameter that we're going to show is band allowance. So if we go here to the sheet metal feature, edit feature, here we have a band radius, thickness, and here we have band allowance. So what is band allowance? Band allowance represents the stretch of the sheet in the band regions. Band allowance, in other words, tell us how big will be our part when all bands will be unfolded. So it allows us to accurately calculate the size of the flattened part. And here we have a few options how we can calculate the band allowance. We have a k-factor, band table, band allowance, band deduction, band calculation. We're going to explain those later. Now let's go here on this picture. Let's explain here more in detail what is band allowance. So here we have our sheet, as you can see. If you bend our sheet, then here we have this form, this one here. So here we have the leg length 1, and here we have the leg length 2. This one here is inside band radius, this one here. So this is the band radius that we can define. And this radius between inner edge and outer edge is band allowance. So this is the arc length. And now depends where this radius is. For example, it can be here on the inner edge, and it can be here on the outer edge, or it can be anywhere between those two edges. So depends where this arc is, you will have different band allowance. So now if you flatten our part, here we have L1, L2, and here we have band allowance. So for example, if we select the band allowance, the arc length of the inner radius, we will get different result if we select the outer radius. The total flat length will be different. Let's go to the SOLIDWORKS. So here we have a difference method, how we can calculate that band allowance, how we can calculate that arc length. Here we have K factor, band table, band allowance, band deduction, band calculation. So here we have a different options. So the bands, how we measure depends on the option, we can get different values. And different industries use different methods. So when you change the method, the length of the part in the flattened state will be different. So the first option that we're going to show here is k factor, this one here. And down here, we can define the value of the k factor. So what is the k factor? k factor is a ratio that represents the location of the neutral sheet with respect to the thickness of the sheet metal. So the k factor is an imaginary line where no stretching or compression occurs. So let's go here to our picture again. So if we bend this part, this one here, on the inner edge we have compression, this one with the red. On the outer edge, here we have stretching, the green one. And now here, between the compression and stretching, where we don't have compression or stretching, we have neutral axis. So now, if this neutral axis is on this edge, inner edge, then we have k factor 0. If we have neutral axis right on the outer edge, then we have k factor 1. If we have our neutral axis between inner and outer edge right in the middle, then we have k factor 0 0.5 and now depends on the value of the k factor we will get different total length of the flat sheet part so let's show this so here we have k factor by the default 0 0.5 now let's click ok now let's try to flatten this part this sheet let's go here let's go to flatten now let's measure the total length let's go to evaluate measure let's get closer Let's select this edge. So here we have 1601.58. Let's close this. Now let's go to the sheet metal, edit feature. Let's go with k factor 1, like this. Now the neutral axis is on the outer edge. And now we should have bigger length. So let's go here to the measure. Let's select this edge here. So now here we have 1603. And before we had 1601. And now you can see how the total length of the flat part is changing based on the value of the k factor. Because the band allowance is changing 
depends on the k factor. If we select here the inner edge 0 or 0 0.5 or 1 as a k factor, we will get different band allowance and we will get a different, as you can see here, total length of our flat sheet. Now let's go to the SOLIDWORKS. Let's go to the sheet metal, edit feature. So the k factor is only one option. The next option that here we have is bent table. Bent table option is used for selecting bent table, which is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet for defining the bent allowance of the sheet metal. So the bent table contains calculated bent allowance or bent deduction values corresponding to the thickness, bent angle, and bent radius values. So you can select here any bent table, and then you can calculate the bent allowance by using the machine book depends on the thickness, bent angle, and the bent radius. So where you can find those bent tables. So we have to go to the same place where we shown our gauge tables. So let's go to our disk. Let's go here to program data. Let's go SOLIDWORKS Corporation. SOLIDWORKS language, English, and here we have sheet metal bent tables. For example, we can select your metric base bent table. And here you can see, here we have the thickness, here we have the angle and the radius. And now for this thickness and the angle and the radius, you have to calculate the bent allowance. And then if you go to SOLIDWORKS, you select this table, then you will have here bent allowance that you have in the table. So this is also the option that you can use for calculating the bent allowance. The next option here is bent allowance. So you can put here any value for a band allowance. And then based on that value, you will have a different length over a flat sheet part. The next option is band deduction. Band deduction measures the outside size of the part and remove values from there. We won't use band deduction, so we won't get into detail. And the last option that we have here is band calculation. You can also select here a table, as you can see. So on selecting the band calculation option, the band allowance, band deduction, or k factor value gets important from the selected tables. So the most important thing is that you know what is band allowance. So again, band allowance here is the arc length. And this arc length can vary from the inner edge to the outer edge. And depends where it is, we can get a different total flat length of our part. And here we have different methods how we can calculate the band allowance. Band table, k factor, band allowance, band deduction, band calculation. In this course, we're going to use k factor and we're going to leave it here 0.5. And that means that our neutral axis will be right in the middle between the inner edge and the outer edge, like this. And this will be our band allowance. So for now, we have covered the band radius, the thickness, band allowance. And in the next lecture, we're going to cover auto relief. If you're tired of watching on YouTube videos and buying cheap courses who always leave you wishing and wanting for more, and you want to have personal support to learn the SOLIDWORKS from the absolute zero to the professional level to improve and start your career, check the link below and visit our Super SOLIDWORKS Accelerator Academy. As well, if you like this video, click like and subscribe.